No, it is 7.30. It is a Monday morning. Not only that, it's Independence Day. Fourth of July, Monday. Birthdays today. We got some Independence Day birthdays. Uh, actress Eva Marie Saint is a 98 today. Actress uh, Gina Lola Brigida, who doesn't care because she's Italian, she's uh, 95. Actor Ed Bernard uh, on A Police Woman in White Shadow is 83. Actor Carolyn Grimes, uh, she was Zuzu on uh, It's a Wonderful Life. She's 82. Singer Annette Beard of uh, Martha and the Vandellas is 79. TV personality Geraldo Rivera, 79. Percussion to Ralph Johnson of Earth, Wind, and Fire. He's 71. Singer uh, John Waite is uh, 70 years old today. Guitarist Kirk Pingley of In Excess is 64. Bassist uh, Matt Malley, Counting Crows guy. He's uh, 59. Uh, actor, comedian Al Madrigal. Uh, he's on the Gary Unmarried and The Daily Show. He's uh, 51 today. Actor uh, Mo McRae of Sons of Anarchy is 40 years old. Reality star Mike of the uh, Situation of Sorrentino. He was on Jersey Shore. He's 40 years old. And Melanie Fiona, a singer. Fiona is uh, uh, Fiona. I'm sorry. Melanie is uh, 39 years old today. Local birthdays. We got a few of them coming up next. What if the music stopped? If the familiar voices were silenced? If there were no breaking news updates? What if your companion and connection to your community came with a monthly fee? Don't worry. We're free local radio with you wherever you go. Celebrating 100 years and looking forward to the next 100. We are broadcasters. Text radio to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on your local TV and radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Alma Mendoza, Victor Jaime, Jaden Vasquez, Buddy Moninger, Adora Rodriguez, Julian Miranda, Gabriel Herrera, Christy Goet. We have Johnny Roja, Charles Ducar, Sylvia Ar Ariata, uh, Karina Moreno, Francis Williams, Javier Magallanes, Jose Luis Bernal, Rene Lynn, and Scott Ketchum. Happy birthday to each and every one. A couple of wedding anniversaries today. Raymond and Gracie Rojas, Andy and Karina Alvarez. Happy anniversary to you guys. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And it's time for the World California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Brief. A 4th of July celebration is canceled in Akron, Ohio, after police released videos of a deadly officer-involved shooting. 25-year-old Jalen Walker was shot and killed. Police recovered a gun from Walker's car, but he was shot after running from the vehicle. Family attorney Bobby DiCello. At the time he was shot, more whatever the unbelievable number will be, he was unarmed. In Denmark, three people were killed and four injured when a man opened fire at a busy mall. The BBC's Gordon Carrera reports on the suspect. It was around 5.30 in the afternoon when gunfire erupted inside the Fields shopping centre in Copenhagen. Danish police said they had apprehended a man they described as a 22-year-old Dane. Demonstrators in Lansing, Michigan, protested the Supreme Court reversing Roe v. Wade. Abortions are going to happen, they're just not going to be safe. CBS News Brief, I'm Wendy Gillette. 
Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. The headline news, while health officials are still concerned about a rising number of COVID cases in the state, they're also tracing monkeypox through wastewater testing. Of the last eight days, four days, we have had samples that are positive for monkeypox in an area that's the west side of San Francisco where we're monitoring. Arlene Wolf, principal investigator of the Sewer Coronavirus Network, California with several dozen monkeypox detections, the most in the country. The vaccinations have been shipped. Maritime smuggling incidents have been on the increase in the San Diego area. Area, so federal agents are warning of the dangers. Many immigrants aren't prepared for the rough waters. They don't have proper clothing. Uh, they don't have proper food or water. And uh, they're really in, a, in bad shape a lot of times when we find them. CBP agent can't swim and the waves can be as high as 12 feet. An 80% increase reported in the number of maritime crossings over the past year. More seasonal double-digit temperatures with continued dry conditions in the state. Jeff Scott, California News. And the World California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. Your For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-353-4501. Did you know fixing outdoor leaks can save 27 to 90 gallons of water per day? Even tiny leaks can be huge water wasters. Conserving water starts with a few simple water-saving actions at home and in your yard like adjusting your sprinklers and adding drip irrigation so you water only where it's needed. We can all do our part to conserve water. Visit SaveOurWater.com for more water-saving tips. Save water, save California. And it is page one of the local news brought to you this morning by El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers uh, with three locations uh, to serve you at the El Centro Motors in uh, Brawley at the Auto Center at Highway 86 and Julia Drive and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Imperial County Elections Department has completed the canvassing of the votes uh, from the uh, June 7th, 2022 primary election. That makes it official. And there is uh, no changes from the last unofficial final tally. In the closest race, Imperial Irrigation District Division 1 race, incumbent Alex Cardenas held off challenger Andrew Arevalo uh, with a 59 vote edge, 1,952 votes to 1,893 votes. The IID Division 3 race will run off in November with Gina Dockstotter uh, meeting Don Campbell. Karen uh, uh, Karen, uh, Eugenio uh, she defeated incumbent Norma Sierra Galindo for the IID Division 5 race. County Supervisor, 1st Division uh, District, 1st District, uh, will see Jesus Eduardo Escobar returning to the board. 5th District uh, Supervisor race continues in November with John Hawk and incumbent Raymond Castillo on the ballot. Assessor uh, Robert Menville was re-elected and uh, is, is a county clerk. Uh, recorder Chuck Story and Superior Court Judge Jeffrey Jones. District Attorney's race continues in November with Mario Vela going against George Marquez on the ballot. Fred Miramontes will be the new sheriff. Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia will face Ian Weeks on the November ballot. Measure Y in El Centro failed, as did Measure A in Imperial. Measures W and Z passed. Uh, Measure A in Imperial failed uh, since it was a dead even with uh, 1,257 yeas and 1,257 no. Voter turnout was a dismal uh, 22.65%. El Central Police are investigating a fatal accident that occurred yesterday morning. Uh, the accident was reported shortly after 7 a.m. on Adams Avenue at uh, Lotus Avenue near Sunflower School. A vehicle reportedly went out of control and rolled over. Victim was ejected from the vehicle and sustained fatal injuries. No other details have been released as the accident 
remains under investigation. We'll have more in just a minute. Hey, Brawley and the entire North End, maybe you heard. A local tire shop and service center is recently closed. I just thought you ought to know El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center is stepping up. They're here for you with everything you need. And you'll see some familiar faces at Quick Lane. Qualified senior technicians with the knowledge and experience to treat you and your car right. There's everything you need. Lube oil and filter change. The best price on tires guaranteed. Auto air conditioning and cooling system service. El Centro Motors Quick Lane tire and auto center in the brawley auto center highway 86 and julia drive and of course at el centro motors and the imperial valley mall and you may have heard independence day weekend is underway it officially started at 6 p.m on friday that was when the california Highway patrol went into their maximum enforcement period that is the shp holiday uh, patrol period they schedule as many officers as possible to patrol the local roadways in an attempt to keep the motorists safe mep lasts until 11:59 monday night most businesses and government establishments are closed today uh, the uh, Imperial Irrigation District offices are closed, but will uh, respond to power outages and other emergencies. ID Board of Directors will meet tomorrow as scheduled. Uh, most all county offices, uh, departments, and agencies are also closed today. Emergency response, such as the uh, Sheriff's Office and Fire Department, will be uh, open during the holiday. County Board of Supervisors will not be meeting on Tuesday. The uh, uh, No Fourth of July of fireworks in Imperial County, anywhere, uh, there will be uh, things to do, however. Uh, splash Pad uh, will be open in uh, El Centro, Imperial, and Brawley. El Centro uh, uh, Monday today will host a, a pool party at the Aquatic Center on the Park Avenue. Park uh, uh, The party starts at 5 p.m. Uh, admission is absolutely free. Keep in mind the uh, cities of Brawley and El Centro are also, also strongly enforcing ordinances prohibiting illegal and dangerous fireworks within their city limits. Brawley uh, police and El Centro police and fire personnel are patrolling uh, their communities to ensure illegal and dangerous fireworks are not used, fines in both communities could be as high as $1,000. El Centro wants residents uh, to be safe this holiday, uh, reminding everyone of the, well, well, the fireworks ordinance, where that's what we just talked that's page one of the local news uh, service of quick lane tire and auto centers with three locations to serve you quick lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment join kxo am 1230 as we celebrate the fourth of july happy independence day let freedom ring our way of saying happy birthday usa happy birthday america let freedom ring will be heard from noon till 6 on Sunday, July 3rd, and again on Monday, July 4th, from 4 till 10 p.m. Let Freedom Ring is brought to you by Southwest Security, AHA Farms, El Sarapi Restaurant, Allstate Agent Dora Pancarte, Imperial Valley Drug-Free Community Coalition, and the UPS Store. And it is page two of the local news and the weather brought to you by uh, the uh, town pump in Westmoreland open Tuesday through uh, Saturday at 4.30 p.m. And uh, by Brownie, uh, Brownie's Diner in Brawley. They're open every day from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. A um, U.S. Border Patrol agents have found a liquid methamphetamine hidden in the gas tank of a pickup truck. Early Friday morning, a pickup truck approached the Highway 86 checkpoint and was sent to the secondary inspection where a canine detection team alerted to the truck. During an inspection, agents noticed the gas gap uh, looked uh, very uh, clean and uh, there appeared to be, uh, it had appeared to be tampered with using a portable video scope. Agents noticed that liquid in the gas tank began to crystallize and turn white. The crystallized substance attested positive for methamphetamine. 55-year-old man driving the truck was arrested and turned over to the Drug Enforcement Administration. El Centro residents uh, uh, and a burglarized water 
o'clock uh, uh, Friday evening. The uh, resident uh, returned home from work at about 9 p.m. and found that his door was open. It appeared that uh, someone had entered uh, and removed a window, uh, a, a window air conditioner, and entered the house that way. Uh, several items were taken, and a total loss estimate of uh, several hundred dollars was reported. El Centro woman uh, reportedly that reported that her boyfriend was kidnapped and the kidnappers were demanding a $5,000 ransom. According to the a woman, she received a what's up call uh, from her long distance uh, boyfriend uh, claiming that he had been kidnapped in the area of Los Angeles International Airport. According to the boyfriend, kidnappers were demanding $5,000 for his release. El Centro police were able to determine that the woman was a victim of a wire fraud. The investigation revealed that the victim had sent approximately $5,000 to different accounts in Colombia on several occasions. Kidnapping was a hoax. We're going to take a look at your weather in just a minute. When you're ready for great home-style cooking, there are two locations for the best in the Imperial Valley. Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley. Open seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Featuring delicious breakfast and lunch entrees, including menudo, liver and onions, and meatloaf. The Town Pump in Westmoreland is open Tuesday through Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Specializing in delicious prime ribs, steaks, chicken, salmon, and lobster. So for a great dining experience, visit Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley, and the Town Pump in Westmoreland. The high temperature yesterday, 105 degrees. You and I low this morning, 72. Wind gusts overnight up to 29 miles per hour. National Weather Service says limited chances for showers and storms this week will largely remain across the high terrain. Lower deserts are likely to remain dry throughout the week. Uh, near to slightly below normal temperatures will be seen through a midweek before warming late. Friday and especially over the coming weekend as lower desert high temperatures are expected to top at around 110 degrees. Well, the forecast for this Independence Day, it's going to be sunny skies, highs right near 103, west winds at around 5 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight, overnight lows around 73, west wind 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Tuesday, sunny skies, highs right near 104, south winds at around 5 miles per hour. And right now, we are looking at 75 degrees, 18%, the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says air quality is moderate in Calexico and at Mexicali, both monitoring stations in Mexicali. Air quality is good for the rest of the region. Page two of the local news and your weather, brought to you this hour by Brownie's Diner in Brawley, open every day, and by the Town Pump in Westmoreland, Imperial Valley's fine dining experience. <laughs> Tired of paying high prices for meat? We are here to help. 20 ribeyes for $40. Huge truckload meat sales here. Now open in the Imperial Valley Mall parking lot by the JC Pennies. 20 ribeyes, yes, 20 ribeye steaks for just $40. This is an insane deal, folks, but it won't last for long. Look for the big truck and big tents in the Imperial Valley Mall parking lot by the JC Pennies. All payments accepted. Cash, debit, credit, Apple Pay, and yes, EBT. 20 ribeyes for $40 is here until sold out. Hurry out for huge half prices. Bulk deals on Kansas City strips, New York strips, fillets, mega ribeyes, T-bones, plus chicken, seafood, and pork. 20 ribeye steaks for just $40. And crazy half price bulk deals on premium steaks, chicken, seafood, and pork. Hurry out and save your money. Look for the big trucks and big tents and signs that say 20 ribeyes for $40. In the Imperial Valley Mall parking lot by J.C. Penny. We'll see you there on sales. It is time for your Sports World Roundup, brought to you by P uh, Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best of care. On the baseball scoreboard, it was the Royals over the Tigers, 7-4. to four. Marlins beat the Nationals, 7-4, to four, but it took them uh, 10 innings. Uh, Brewers uh, defeated the Pirates, 2 to nothing. Rays over the Blue Jays, 7-3. to three. Reds got by the Braves, 4-3. to three. 
uh, Guardians beat the Yankees, shut them out two to nothing. Mets over the Rangers four to one. The Astros defeated the Angels four to three. Orioles got by the Twins three to one. Boston Red Sox it took them eleven innings uh, to defeat the Cubs four to two. Rockies over the Diamondbacks six to five. White Sox defeated the Giants thirteen to four. Mariners beat the uh, Athletics two to one. Padres came back with four runs in the ninth inning and defeated the Dodgers four to two, avoiding the sweep. Uh, Phillies uh, beat the Cardinals by a score of four to nothing. And NASCAR Tyler Reddick he won at the uh, Road America for his first NASCAR Cup Series victory. Came close several times. Finally got his victory that he has been searching for a while. That's uh, that. Well, that's page one of the, <laughs> page one. That's the first part. We got more sports coming up. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. And Wimbledon is underway. Uh, Coco Goff is not. Her first Grand Slam is still elusive in uh, the uh, third round at Wimbledon. Uh, the All of England Club is appealing a fine levied by the World Tennis Association Women's Professional Tennis Tour for banning Russian and Belarusian players from tournaments in, Britain's, uh, in Britain because of the war in Ukraine. The Elon Tennis Association, British Federation for the Sport, also is expected to appeal a financial penalty imposed by the WTA after no players from Russia or Belarus were allowed to take part in grass court tune-up events last month in the East Bar, Eastburn, uh, Nottingham, and Birmingham. Nick Kyrgios and Stefanos Tsitsipas apparently got into it after their last match. Uh, well, they've now both been fined uh, a, a, a a day after the fiery third-round match at Wimbledon. Uh, the uh, $10,000 for Tsitsipas. Uh, Kyrgios received a $4,000 fine. Janik Skin, uh, Sinner, uh, Janik Sinner outdueled Carlos Alcaraz, the uh, Spanish. Uh, protege. I don't know. He's a sensation. A youngster that wins everything. He didn't win at Wimbledon. He, he got eliminated by Sinner in a matchup of uh, up-and-comers. Uh, Sinner, it doesn't get any easier. His next match will be Novak Djokovic. Venus Williams and ja uh, Jamie Murray, they're going home. Uh, they have bowed out of their mixed doubles tournament at Wimbledon after a tiebreaker. And uh, Framber Valdez and the Houston Astros, uh, they authored a special day, striking out 20 in their win over the Los Angeles Angels. That's it. That's a look at sports. Uh, sports World Roundup has been brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between imperial printers rocket copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing thank you for choosing locally owned and operated imperial printers rocket copy we have convenient locations near you at 430 west main street and 100 south 11th street in el centro and 184 south plaza in brawley 
And it is time for the financial news and weather brought to you by Southwest Security, locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offers live scan fingerprinting to the public. Nothing to report on Wall Street. Wall Street is closed today because of the uh, Independence Day holiday. U.S. stock market is reeling, however, from its worst first half of any year since 1970, with investors uh, girding uh, for a series of potential flashpoints in July that may set Wall Street's course for the uh, coming months. Second quarter corporate earnings hotly anticipated U.S. inflation data and the uh, Federal Reserve's monetary policy meeting are among potentially pivotal events after the S&P 500 fell 20.6 percent in the initial six months of 2022. We're going to take a look at your weather right after this. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened 365 days a year. P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of Fort Hile in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. The high temperature yesterday, 105 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 72. Wind gusts overnight up to 29 miles per hour. Independence Day today, sunny skies. Highs right near 103. West winds at around 5 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight, overnight lows around 73. West wind 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Sunny on Tuesday, highs right near 104. South winds at around 5 miles per hour. And right now we are looking at 75 degrees, 18 percent, the relative humidity. Once again, uh, the air pollution control district says air quality moderate in Calexico and at both monitoring stations in Mexicali. Air quality is good for the rest of the region. Financial news and the weather brought to you this morning by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24 hour a day post office boxes at the uh, Southwest Postal at the corner of Fourth and Heil in El Centro. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. They have great weekday specials. I like the friendly environment, the friendly staff, the cold beer, and the best weeks in town. Burgers and Beer, what I like about Burgers and Beer, the menu, everything on the menu is great. I'm working my way through the menu. My favorite thing right now is the grilled tuna chipotle sandwich. That's what I had yesterday, and it was delicious. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, on AM 1230. KXO. And your CBS News is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. News on the hour. Presented by Dell. I'm Peter King in Orlando. There's nothing quite like 4th of July fireworks and picnics to make you feel like a kid. Especially if you are one. Juliana lives in Rutherford, New Jersey, and says she filled up before watching last night's show. Steak, lobster, corn, shrimp. It's also a time for parades like this one in Three Lakes, Wisconsin, and for flying. We want to get back, hit the road, do some traveling, see the country. As if you can get there, CBS's Nikki Batiste is at Newark Liberty Airport. Chaos continues at airports across the country this morning with hundreds of delays and cancellations. FlightAware shows in the U.S. this airport is the most affected by delays and cancellations today. So, as the saying goes... Pack your patience. In Akron, Ohio, a family asks for calm after police body cam video showed officers fired dozens of shots that killed a 25-year-old black man who ran from them after a traffic stop. Luana Dawkins is Jalen Walker's aunt. At some point, this stuff has got to stop. But we got to do it the right way. CBS is Elise Preston. Police say a handgun and a magazine were found in Walker's car. And that body camera images show Walker appearing to reach for his waist 
Northwest area right before he was killed. But he did not fire at police during the foot pursuit. The State Department says U.S. ballistics analysis shows that Israeli gunfire likely killed Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh. But there's no reason to believe that she was shot and killed intentionally. Abu Akleh died while covering an Israeli military raid in the West Bank nearly two months ago. Police in Copenhagen say the man who killed two teens and a 47-year-old Russian man in a shopping mall is in custody. CBS's Charlie Daggett. Police in Denmark say the shooter is a 22-year-old Danish man known to mental health services and there is no indication that it is terror-related. Cell phone footage shows the alleged gunman casually strolling through Field Shopping Mall in Copenhagen, slinging his rifle over his shoulder, then giving chase. Terrified shoppers fled for their lives as he opened fire. Shark attacks don't happen just here in Florida. Here's CBS's Elaine Cobb. Two women who were vacationing on the Red Sea coast in Egypt were killed in separate shark attacks in recent days. The country's environment ministry said they had been swimming in the sea south of the resort town of Urgada. Local reports say one was Austrian and the other Romanian. Shark attacks in the Red Sea are rare, but there have been a few in recent years. The death toll is now seven after an avalanche in the Italian Alps. As many as 15 people still missing. This is CBS News. Dell's Black Friday in July sale is here with savings on top-rated business computers with Intel Core processors. Upgrade today by calling 877-ASK-DELL. 5X480, Dayton B100 B-Belt, one of the many parts Ranger carries. It's also the item that helped Rob carry the day. The job was on hold, deadline fast approaching. But a quick search on Granger.com and Rob found his part. And with same-day pickup at his local branch, he and his crew got the job done safely and on time. It supplies and solutions for every industry with real-time product availability. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Summer is in full swing and the deals are heating up at Lowe's. Find 4th of July savings to keep your yard looking healthy the whole season. Protect your soil from the heat with a bag of Scott's Naturescapes mulch, now three for $10. And celebrate the 4th with our select two and a half quart red, white, and blue annuals, two for $10. Find more savings this 4th of July at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. About 623 through 76, while supplies last. Annuals offer in-store only. Actual plant size and selection varies by location. Excludes Alaska and Hawaii. The holiday weekend is no holiday for people upset about the recent Supreme Court ruling on abortion. Many have spent part of their holiday weekend protesting the Supreme Court's recent abortion decision. These women spoke at a rally in Los Angeles. I feel like it's our body, so it should be our choice. Abortion is really about protecting women's lives. It's so important that every woman can decide for herself. The ruling overturning Roe v. Wade has ushered in a new era of fundraising on both sides of the abortion debate. Jim Crisula, CBS News. Singer R. Kelly is on suicide watch in a New York prison cell. His attorney says it's being done as punishment and because he's a high profile inmate. But corrections officials and prosecutors say he's being watched closely as a protective measure for his own safety. Kelly has been sentenced 30 years on sex charges in New York. He faces more charges in Chicago. I'm Peter King, CBS News. Oil investments involve a high degree of risk, and actual results may vary. Oil keeps going up as the Russia conflict escalates. Get in on the next major oil boom now and help the U.S. with your patriotic investment that can potentially pay you monthly income for up to 20 or more years. That's the sound of a producing oil well and the sound of a smart investment. If you're an SEC-accredited investor, you can take advantage of Encore Energy's projects. The U.S. government needs your investment in oil and is allowing you to write off nearly 100% of your investment in the first year. Goldman Sachs is projecting oil to go up to $100 a barrel. Call 800-278-7455. Call now and learn how to deduct 100% of your investment and create 20 or more years of potential monthly income. Call 800-278-7455. You'll be calling directly to the home office of Encore Energy. That's 800-278-7455. <laughs> Imperial Valley Business Resource Center is a one-stop shop for business development. We provide a complete roadmap to success for startups, entrepreneurs, and small to medium-sized businesses. Our in-house services include startup assistance, workforce... 
site selection, access to capital, accounting, cash flow management, permitting assistance, government contracting, international trade, incentive analysis, and more. Contact IBBRC today at 760-353-8332 or visit IVBRC.org to get started. And your CBS News has been brought to you this hour by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It is all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, let me lay on you a so-so entertainer. With George Gale. Not much of a humanitarian, and this cat was never nobody's friend. Uh, you can applaud if you want to. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO. 